Hello there, Miranda here. Today we are going to tackle the Bluebird Art Challenge and paint this Kingfisher here using this lovely Arches watercolor block. It's 140 pound, 100% cotton, and it's awesome. I will explain the Bluebird Art Challenge here shortly, but just to get started, this is a brand new block. It is 7.9 inches by 7.9 inches, so we might as well say 8 by 8. And you can see here I just put the palette knife in and slide this piece of black paper that's on the top off. And the only reason I'm showing you this is because this black piece of paper is really nice and thick and you should save it because I assume since it's touching your cotton watercolor paper it is probably acid free. I have not, I won't guarantee that, but uh, probably acid free. Anyway, you can use it for other art projects so definitely keep that around. And here you can see me sketching out this little kingfisher. And again, stay tuned. I will tell you more about this bluebird art challenge very soon. But first, I'm just going to give you a rundown on a few things that I'm doing. I'm going to use my core watercolor paints for this. And this is exactly what my palette looked like after the very last video up there that I did on this channel. Here is the swatch sheet. I'm going to do the background. And then I need to lay in a layer of color here because if you look on this reference photo, we have some really light areas surrounded by completely dark areas and so I need to put that wash of that light color down, mask it off, in my opinion, and paint over the top of it. So that's the plan. For that I have gotten out my Windsor & Newton Cotman size 12 round brush. Just one that I got in a set when I first started painting. Keep using it because it works really well. When it gets wet it comes to a super fine point and sometimes I just use it for the entire painting because I'm too lazy to switch brushes. All right, let's do this background. I'm gonna wet the whole thing this time. I'm not gonna put it down neat. It's such a big space that this paint dries really fast and stains really quickly on this paper. This is the arches like I showed you. And so I'm gonna wet the whole background and then I will stick in the colors that I'm hoping to use for this. Should be fun. Real quick, I have all this paint in the lid that I keep not washing out because there's still large chunks of it left and I don't want to waste it. So I think for my background, I can actually use some of this paint, I'm hoping. So let's see how much of this paint we get to use for our background. I have some colors in mind that I want to use. I'm going to put that here or maybe like here. Yep, that's better. And go for it. So what is the Blue Bird Art Challenge? This is so fun. Dina Tollefson here on YouTube. Her channel is Dina Tollefson. And I'll link that in the description box below and probably in the i card in the corner. Anyway, she puts on these challenges probably every other month and the theme is different every time. You can participate with any kind of art style or art medium. It's very open, very friendly, I would say. And it's very fun. How many times can I say very? <laughs> Maybe you should count them and let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Alrighty. So anyway, this one happens to be the Bluebird Art Challenge. And the rules for this one were you either had to use something that was all mostly blue, or you could do anything that was a bird, any kind of bird, or you could do a blue bird. So it was really up to you. Lots of options for that. And I looked up Bluebird and I will just preface this video by saying I know absolutely zilch about birds. Absolutely nothing. So I googled Bluebird and I went to Pixabay and I put in Bluebird and all that I could really see that was coming up is the Kingfisher. At least I think this is a Kingfisher because that was the name on a couple of the pictures. So i like, well, maybe a Bluebird is just a generic term for a bird that is blue and I would have had to look up like Blue Jay or something like that. But the Kingfisher was so pretty I decided that I would just paint that anyway. So that's how I ended up painting this guy here and uh, tell me if this is a Kingfisher below since I know nothing about birds. And I will never wear a baseball hat again while videoing. I had just come in from working outside and <laughs> just had the hat on. I didn't even think about it and it sometimes gets in the view screen. So oops on that. <laughs> anyway, as far as this Bluebird Art Challenge goes, if you are an artist of any type, any kind, clay artists, any kind of artist, you can participate. So I would suggest going to her channel and subscribing because she will release a video when the next challenge comes up and you can participate in that. And it's just a fun community. As far as my painting goes, the colors that I used most were Thalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Transparent Pyrrole Orange, 
lemon yellow. I did dip into the quinacridone gold quite a bit. And let's see what else. Oh, indigo. I used a lot of indigo for the dark, dark darks. That was a lot of darks. Anyway, I mixed the sepia with, nope, this one doesn't have a sepia. I mixed the neutral tint in to a couple of them. And then for another bit of the darks, I actually mixed the transparent pyrrole orange with indigo. And that made that shadow color that I'm putting in down there. It was really pretty. I also grabbed a little bit of raw umber, mixed that with, I don't remember, some other color for that little tree stump thing that the bird is sitting on, and then a bit of green to show some moss, and then just kept moving along. Also, in case you did not know, July is World Watercolor Month, and this is the first painting I did in July, even though this is coming out on the third, and the first prompt for July is Rejoice, and you don't have to use the prompts, so don't feel like you have to do that if, if you want to participate, but the point of World Watercolor Month is to do 31 watercolors in 31 days. You post it on social media, and then I think they count up the number of posts and donate some amount of money to to a great cause. And that is it for my entry into the Bluebird Art Challenge. That was really fun. Thanks for joining me. Check out the description box below for links to everything I talked about in this video and consider subscribing if you're new. Thank you to all my existing subscribers. I will see you guys in the next video. For that, I have gotten out my Kopman, Windsor, and Newton. I always say that backwards. Okie dokie.